proximity queries as i just said was a query like this in the west law syntax you want a word starting with limit appearing within three words of the word statute appearing within three words of the word federal appearing within two words of the word nor so if you remember from chapter 1 we said that this was the extended boolean retrieval model this was the extended boolean retrieval model which we couldn't handle using that inverted index we couldn't handle queries like this but now we can use positional indexes to answer such proximity queries in general and note that byword indexes cannot answer pro general proximity queries byword indexes can only answer phrase queries we can't answer proximity queries so what you can try as an exercise is to adapt the linear merge of postings that we just discussed for phrase queries to handle to make it more general and to handle proximity queries this is something you should definitely try out on your own and the pseudo code for this algorithm is actually given in your book if you look at figure 2.12 in the book it describes the pseudo code in short but i would say try it out yourself first and then verify whether the solution you come up with is um similar or identical to the one given in the book and this is a little tricky to do okay, so um i will leave this as an exercise for you uh, i did give you an intuition i hope of how proximity queries will be handled effectively for every position in let's say we're looking at a query like x occurring within n words of y again we are going to traverse the postings list of x and y and if we find that there is a document containing both the words we are going to enter into the post of the positions list within the that particular document for both x and y and then for every position at which x occurs we we'll need to check a window around that position of length k or sorry of length n and check whether there is any occurrence of y within that window so if x occurs at position number 23 we'll need to check n places to the left of position 23 and n places to the right of position 23 whether or not y occurs now that's a brute force algorithm and uh, you can think of coming up with a more efficient way to uh, sort of implement it instead of you know choosing a pe choosing a particular position in the uh, in the list for x and then searching this entire window in the list for y then moving the position of x one uh, one place forward and then again checking a window of length n around it that's a brute force way to do it but your book has a neat solution which is more efficient and you may want to think about that before you uh, look up the solution any questions about uh, handling proximity queries